I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Sobek, the crocodile, crocodile god from Egypt. So I take three fingers on the right and I put a dot. And from that dot going towards the left, I'm going to do a straight line, curve line, curve line, curve line, all the way down. Then I come back and I draw a wavy, 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 wavy line, up and stop. I come back to the left. And I draw a curve line down, straight line over, and leave it floating. And right about here, I'm just going to draw curve line down off the page. I come back over here to the top, and I'm going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. And I come back up to my dot, and I'm going to draw a big curve line out, down, and leave floating. Right where I stop here, I'm going to start on the very far right side, and I'm going to draw a curve line out, straight line down, off the page. I come back up here to my curve line on the top, and I'm going to fill this in, curve lines down, keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay? I can even come back up and add another curve line out, down, and connect. Okay? I come inside, right here where this indentation is, and I draw a straight line down, Curve line over, connect, and now I continue my straight lines, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. I come over on the left hand side and I'm going to draw straight line down, straight line over, connect, and now I fill this space in with straight line, straight line, straight line. Going across, I do curve line, curve line, curve line on these on that space. Okay? Now I come all the way up to this part right here and I'm going to draw straight line up, curve line down, and right next to it I'm going to draw another curve line up straight line down, connect. I come on the left hand side and I'm going to draw curve line out, curve line in, connect. I come on the right hand side, I'm going to draw a curve line out, curve line in, connect. I come inside this space and draw a straight line down on the left, straight line down on the right. At the bottom, I'm going to add one baby circle, and then two baby circles. I come over here and I just draw a straight line and a baby circle on top. Come on the right hand side, little straight line, baby circle on top. Now I come inside my first space and I draw a straight diagonal down and up. Down, up, down, up, down, up. I come to the next one and I do the same thing. Straight diagonal down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay? Now I come right here, right here in this space. Starting here I draw a curved line up and out. I draw a curved line down and up. Right above there, I draw another curved line up and down. And inside, I draw another curved line, curved line, connect. Okay? 
I think that's everything. Oh, and right here, I'm just going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line. Okay. And while I have my marker out, I'm going to go ahead and color in this space because this is my eye. So I can see better what I'm going to color. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, so back is a crocodile. So he's going to be mostly green, but just to add a little bit of color, I did this section on the right purple, and I did this section on the left purple. And then to add another little bit of color, I did my baby circles yellow and yellow. Okay? Then I went through my crayon box and I found a light green and a dark green. So the first part that I did light green was I did the whole entire face first with this light green color all the way around and down. And then I took my light green and wherever there was a line I put a little bit of light green there too. So like over here on the shoulder, on my headdress, I would just go ahead and add a line of the light green. And this is just so there's a little bit of duality. I ended up coloring these top spaces all light green. And then I took my dark green and I double colored over the light green on the face so that I would get a dual tone. Not too dark, just all the way down and around. But then I came in and I really colored my headdress dark green. So I took my time. I know it's double coloring takes a little bit more effort but the end result is really nice. So I did all of this headdress section very carefully with my darker green. Same thing for my chest. Colored this in the darker green and this section of my shoulder. Okay? Then I looked at it and I thought, you know, this looks awfully white. So I took a peach or apricot color and I just drew straight lines don't draw through your drawing all the way across just to kind of break up all this white now if you don't have apricot or peach you can use maybe a light brown you can use an orange if you use it lightly just to kind of give you a different background color than that white. Sometimes white is too white. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is Sobek, the crocodile god for Egypt, ancient Egypt, all colored in. Okay, bye-bye.